Hey guys, again, Synology Beyond Cloud. We're gonna hook this thing up now. So take a look in the small window. I'm gonna have trouble, we're just gonna hook this up. So I wanted, to, I wanted you to see that this is the first time that I've hooked this up and we're gonna do a live. We're gonna add this thing live. And now this thing's supposed to beat before we do anything else, but I wanted to get it rolling, okay? power we've hooked it up to the network we shove everything back there and we're going to keep an eye on this here's a power button right on the side so we're going to keep an eye on that over there now Sorry, I didn't catch that. okay cortana over there i didn't say your name now over here guys we're going to start with uh first i wanted to show you this if you go to Synology.com slash beyond cloud, you can see a little bit of guidance that Synology has done for you. Uh, setup page. And the biggest thing here is these videos. Set up your beyond cloud UI overview of disk station manager and set up remote tutorial. But what we're gonna do is just like it said on the on the box, or maybe you get a pamphlet with yours find.synology.com check this out up here in your browser of choice once that box beeps we'll go to find.synology.com should we mic up the Synology? perfect timing perfect timing so once you get that beep you head over to find.synology.com and what this does, it does a little broadcast searching within your network. And now the funny thing is, is on mine, we're going to see a couple of local Synologies. Hey, looky there. Perfect. It found one that's not set up. I was, I was hoping it wouldn't find all my other ones. So let's do this here. I don't think you have anything to worry about here with the uh, IP address, the MAC address, but... Um, because you can always get to that later if you need it. But let's go ahead and click Connect. It starts up the GUI for Beyond Cloud. Admin. No password. At all. There are a few steps. Ahead. Okay, so server name. We want to, let's just call this Beyond Cloud. Username, I, I, admin, I think is always good. And you have to come up with a password, so. Don't, uh, don't ask me. It's weak. I know I'm doing a demo here. So next, create the user account. DSM update settings. We recommend you to keep DSM up to date and all that good stuff. Install the latest version automatically. I like to do that. You can install important updates automatically uh, if you want to kind of stay on the latest operating system and updates. Just, just click the top. Install Synology's recommended packages. These packages will help you get started with DSM effortlessly. I'm going to skip this right now, but these are real fun things for you to do, and I recommend uh, going back and adding some of those. So if you want to send anonymous statistics, yes, back to uh, the mothership of Synology. Tip one, access all built-in and installed packages from the main menu. So it looks like everything is done for us. Discover more applications at Package Center. Okay, Control Panel. So they're kind of guiding us through their starting help automatically and you got a nice little uh, helper here I want to go look at file station sorry now nah, that was ubi sorry I I open to we don't need to open to so there's file station and looks like we have some updates waiting for us, but I'm going to go ahead and go into control panel, show you around here. 
uh, DSM. Let's look at updates. It came with 5.1, and I know that we have some updates beyond this. So if we go into, okay, we know that. If we go into, I wanted to go to Storage Manager. There it is. I just wanted to show you exactly what was inside. There's a already a volume already. Uh, everything is all done for you. So RAID type Synology Hybrid RAID with data protection of one disk fault tolerance. So one disk could die, and you would have uh, you would be safe. All your data would be safe. So. I'm going to stop it there before it gets too out of control. We'll do some more uh, videos on Beyond Cloud, Synology Beyond Cloud. Uh, check here in this channel of YouTube. It's the homeservershow.com YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.